Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got an absolute deer camp classic in 7 odd 8, Remington Core Locked 140 grain. And here is your absolutely classic Remington Core Locked box for that 140 grain 7 millimeter odd 8 load. This is a classic hunting load here. We've got our deer, elk, and hog icon, so that's sort of your intended game, your medium to medium large. Let's go ahead and flip it around, take a look at your promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Coming on down, there's a little bit of more info for you if you want to read it. And then coming down further, we've got our velocity table. Muzzle velocity is stated at 2,860 feet per second. And there it is, your 140 grain core locked in 7 out of 8. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Gen 2, chambered in 7mm out 8, of course. It's got a 20-inch barrel, and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. Up top, we've got a Vortex Diamondback scope, and I've got it in my own custom-painted Gen 1 stock. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here, also available on my website, masonleather.com. If you're looking for a leather sling that'll last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those three shot velocities from the Remington 140 grain core locked out of the 7 odd 8. We got 2702, 2657, and 2679. And the reason it looks like this is shots 4, 5, and 6 is because, well it is, I accidentally forgot to reset the chronograph for the last two loads that I shot. So these are the core locked velocities. And then shots 1, 2, and 3 luckily were very different. That was from the Hornady Custom Light Managed Recoil Load, which of course is in a different video. And a quick announcement, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those 140 grain core locks out of the 7mm R8. We captured all three bullets. We got one, two, and then three right there. So penetration wise, looks like we got two kissing 21 and a half inches and one at 22 and a half inches. I need to back up. My camera's having trouble focusing. Pretty decent performance there. And it looks like they expanded very nicely, held together for the most part. Of course, we'll dig them out here in a second. Coming on over to the first block, we'll look at the wound tracks. They start, well, they go in about the one to one and a half inch to two inch mark. They start expanding out deliver that wound track all the way back till about the one in the bottom there stopped at about 10 inches the other two went a little bit further by the 11 to 12 inch mark they're petering out and then just continuing on penetrating through pretty decent performance i think it would definitely do the job on white-tailed deer and other medium game let's go ahead and dig these things out and take a look and real quick if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out i'm having a huge sale on my website masonleather.com go check it out and get yourself something all right, y'all, we pulled the bullets out of the blocks. Let's take a look at them. Those 140 grain Remington core locks out of the 7 odd 8. Weight retention, 131, 132, 134 for an average of 132 grains retained weight. That is 95% weight retention. Uh, these aren't bonded bullets. They're, they just have the core lock, right? The old, old classic design. This is extremely high weight retention for core locked bullets. I've tested quite a few of them on the channel. This is way, way up there. And I think that's because these are in the velocity range that core locked bullets seem to really like a lot and perform well at. We'll talk about that in a second. Excellent weight retention. Expansion, another good story here. 0 0.66, 0 0.74, and 0.76 inches for an average of 0.72 inches expanded diameter. 
That's 2.5x expansion, way over the 2x mark that I like to see. And just take a look at the photo of these bullets. They look absolutely beautiful. The deadliest mushroom in the woods? I think so. That's the old core locked slogan. It's definitely applicable here. Just take a look at these things. Nice and concentric, really good mushrooming. They're going to punch through and make a hole. Excellent performance. On to velocity. Our high was 2703. Our low was 2657 for an average of 2680 versus the factory spec of 2860 feet per second. So we did come in 180 feet per second under on average versus the factory spec velocity. Now keep in mind, I am shooting this through a 20 inch barreled rifle. That's what I have. No one provides me rifles. It's all out of my own pocket. So I'm using what I have here in an effort to be able to actually compare the velocities to other ammo at least. I took all 19 seven odd eight loads I've tested so far. Not all the videos are out made a list of all their velocities and how they compared to their own spec to figure out what's actually kind of in range, what's normal, what's slow, what's fast. And these were on the slower side. 180 feet per second under is quite a bit slower than the average that I got for all the loads I've tested. So it is what it is. It's not the biggest deal in the world. If you got a longer barrel, you're definitely going to chew up some of that velocity. I really doubt you're going to chew up all of it. Not based off what I've seen with the other 18 7 millimeter on eight loads I've tested. And the impact velocity down there at 100 yards would be about 2,466 feet per second. On to penetration, just like weight retention and expansion, the penetration was absolutely excellent. 21 and a half, 21 and a half, and 22 and a half inches for an average we're going to round up of about 22 inches of penetration. That is just, that's phenomenal. It's past the 20 inch mark that I like to see. It was very, very consistent all within, you know, one inch of each other. So you know what you're gonna get when you're shooting the stuff. On to kinetic energy with 140 grain bullet going on average 2,680 feet per second. We're looking at 2,232 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 1,889 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. Plenty of punch for deer, hogs, medium game, stuff like that. And I know a lot of people don't put a ton of stock in kinetic energy. It's just another metric that we can compare different ammos by. That's why I include it. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Remington Core Locked 140 grain load out of the 7mm odd 8. I think it did absolutely phenomenal across the board with the exception of the velocity, but as I've said before, that's really the last thing I'm worried about. At most typical hunting ranges, it's it really doesn't matter. We got great weight retention, great expansion, excellent penetration for what this kind of stuff is kind of meant for. I think this would do really, really good for white-tailed deer, hogs, even black bear, I might want to step up to something that does penetrate a bit deeper the bigger my game gets just for a little more insurance. There's a reason ammo manufacturers make different lines of ammo, some that are tailored more for deeper penetration. There's a reason for that kind of thing. It's not just more expensive, it's that there's always a trade-off. With this ammo, you're getting really good expansion. It's going to hinder that penetration just a bit because there's more resistance when it's going through the target. But as far as a balanced sort of white-tailed deer, you know, and similar game hunting load, I don't think you can do a whole lot better than this. This stuff did great. And I forgot to mention back when we were talking about velocity, I'd mentioned before that that we were going to talk about this, this velocity range that these bullets were in. So, you know, 2700, 2600 sort of foot per second range. I've tested a lot of ammo so far, over 200 loads. Not all the videos are out yet, but I have all the data. And that velocity range, 25, 26, 2700 feet per second muzzle velocity and subsequent impact velocity down at 100 yards being a bit lower, that's the range that Remington core locked bullets seem to really like to perform well in. If you push them a whole lot faster than that, they can break up. For example, if you're using, you know, 150 grain pointed soft point core locked out of a fast 30 cal and it's slinging that thing dang near 3,000 feet per second and it's hitting down there, you know, at 2,900 feet per second or, you know, I'm, I'm making that number up it might not hold together all that well. But when you slow it down to these more, I don't know, reasonable non-magnum velocities, they tend to perform a lot better. Also, I found that heavy for caliber core locked bullets also perform a lot better. And that might have to do with they're going a little bit slower. It's just sort of in that sweet spot of velocity where the core locked likes to be. Make that what you will.
Just an observation. So again, I'm extremely pleased with how this ammo performed. If I was hunting with a 7-odd 8 as my primary rifle, deer, hogs, stuff like that, this would be a great choice. If you've used this ammo on game or at the range or whatever, let us know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.